A Campbell River family is reaching out tonight, hoping that you will help them get reunited with their beloved dog. Her name is Sadie, and she's now in Victoria undergoing expensive medical procedures after being injured in a car accident. But Sadie is much more than the family pet. She is a close companion to a young girl who suffers from a rare condition known as Engelman's syndrome. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. 14-month-old Sadie is recovering in a Victoria veterinary clinic after going through extensive operations. The surgeries were necessary after the dog was nearly killed when hit by a car on February 2nd. It was a long procedure. It was, it was a very difficult fracture to reduce, which the surgeon knew going in it was going to be. Um, not only were they broken, they were forced out of their normal position as well. The Bull Terrier Shepherd Husky Cross suffered multiple fractures, a shattered pelvis and trauma to her internal organs. She's now facing an extensive recovery period. We don't know for sure how much nerve damage there is on the left leg and we're hoping that in time we're going to start to get strength there. The dog was brought to the Elk Lake Clinic by the Victoria Adoptables Dog Rescue Organization. The pet had been turned over to the group when the Campbell River family that owned it realized it couldn't afford the enormous vet bills required to save the animal. The money amount was just way, way outside of where we could go so my son made the decision to let her go to somebody who would be able to um, to take care of her. Winna Mitchell says her son had to make the heart-wrenching decision to give up the pet, loved by all family members, but especially close to her 17-year-old daughter, Jessie, who has a condition called Angelman Syndrome. She would spend lots of time laying on the bed with Jessie, and they've, you know, they've just got this amazing bond now that is really difficult <laughs> not to have, not having her at the house right now for Jessie. Jesse, who communicates through hand oh, gestures yeah, instead of speech, has no problems expressing how much she misses her companion. Her communication is giving us five for a positive. So I would ask her, you know, do you miss Sadie? And she would give me five. And I would say, do you want Sadie to come home? And she would, you know, give me multiple fives. So that's an indication that she really wants Sadie to come home. Sending pets back to the family the dogs came from isn't something Victoria Adoptables normally does, but in this case, Mitchell says the group knows Sadie and Jesse need to be reunited. Jesse's story, I guess, touched their heartstrings, and they just thought that they needed to be together. Fundraising efforts are underway in Campbell River, the Comox Valley, and in Victoria to cover the vet bills and eventually get Sadie back up to Campbell River, where she belongs. Those guys, you know, I, can, I don't know how I can ever thank them for what they've sorry <laughs> for what they're doing if you would like to lend a hand you can get more information in the animals in need section of the victoriaadoptables.com website gord curvis ctv news campbell river